monster or fairy tale. I went into it knowing. I pretty much had no doubt in my mind that Natsu was going to beat the living tar out of Jackal, Jaguar, whatever this piece of shit's fucking name is. I had no doubt in my mind that he was going to annihilate this dude. But, and that's not even what really frustrates me because it was like, whatever, I already knew, I expected it, I full on went into it, and at the end of the day, it's fairy tale, whatever, you know, I don't take stuff like that to heart, and it's just, it is what it is. But the problem I had with this chapter was the happy stuff. While it was meant for, I guess, a gag, it really just, like, destroyed the serious moment because we have, okay, Jackal's down, he went full force as you know, as strong as he possibly can. He went into some giant jackal-looking form and tried to go at it with not so on an even playing field and still got fucked up, which is pathetic and embarrassing. So even in his maximum strength, not so overpowered a giant jackal, whatever. But then he turns into a pretty much... He, he's going to destroy the city. He's going to explode everything. He don't give a fuck. It's like, YOLO, bro. He was on some kid boo, blow up the planet, not think twice about it type of shit. Except, of course, not the planet, the city. Let's not get it twisted. But nonetheless, he was like, I don't give a fuck. And then it's like, oh shit. Happy's going to risk his life and drag him out of there? Like, what the fuck? So, yo, is Happy going to die? Because Happy dragging him out of there, you know, Happy... Is, even if Happy tries to dodge at the last second, the bomb is already going off. The bomb is about to explode. Everything's done. So Happy shouldn't make it out of there. And if Happy did make it out of there, it's like, all right, maybe Happy should be like in pieces. But Happy makes it out of there with an afro. And I'll say this because this isn't no bias. I felt the same way with the Pell shit in One Piece. When Pell with the bomb and then Pell survived some fucking how. So it's not no bias because I feel the same way about that shit as I feel with this. Except this one was like, yo, this bomb was supposed to take out the city. There's no way that Happy had time to take him out of there and then get away and escape with nothing but an afro. It's almost as if you get two One Piece things in one. You get fucking the Pell moment from Alabasta, and then you get Afro Luffy, but it's Afro Happy. And it's like it throws out the seriousness because, okay, cool. You know what is kind of funny? I get a front. Happy with a freaking Afro, that shit is funny, regardless of what. Regardless of the frustrations that I have with the content. That's funny. But it's so unnecessary in this part. And if Happy was going to come out with an Afro, it should have been done a whole different way to where it doesn't fuck up the seriousness. I'm not even like... Really, I guess, that upset because, again, the only part really that frustrated me is the way that Happy took out a bomb that's going to take out the city and gets away with nothing but an afro. That's really the only part because I expected Jack to lose. Again, that is my expectation at this point, and I expected it to go down that way. What I didn't expect is when you get this moment of like, yo... Happy's really gonna die. Like, they're gonna take out the mascot of Fairy Tale. Oh, no. Next page. Never mind. He just got an afro. And that's the bullshit of it. It's like, so, two members already, two members of Tartarus, this legendary demons, they're, they're demons, they're legendary as hell. You know, they're supposed to be the Zerub's book. And two of them already took it out. Lox's body slammed the fucking beat the dog shit out of the first one. And then Natsu beat the dog shit out of Jackal, punched him, beat him up. He tried to turn into Jackal form. Natsu said, nah, 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 bitch. I'm, I'm all fired up. And he even used a Loxus technique, you know, when he uses the electricity combined with himself. So it was like, there was no chance. But when he gave a slither of a hope that the city was going to go up in flames, and it didn't, that's when it's just like, wow. Are you fucking kidding me? And even so, if the bomb was going to go up, couldn't Natsu just like eat up all the flames? Or I guess maybe it would be too much flames for him to try to eat at once. I don't know. But regardless of what, that's really where it throws everything out. And it's like, so the second Tardis member defeated. And I don't even know if Jackal's going to return. I'm not sure if he's like Tempesta, where Tempesta was able to come back and like get his body revived. I don't know if Jackal's the same way. And if he is, okay, kind of cool, whatever. But we've seen him just get beasted on regardless of what. And again, when he went into Jackal form, I still wasn't even expecting him to take out Natsu because we're seeing that the only thing that's strong about these people is the curses. It's not their battle. It's not their brute strength. It's not any of that, their magic. It's their curses. But even the curse, Natsu was able to take out and then Happy was able to take out. It's like, when you're losing to Happy, when a member of Tartarus can't get his job done because Afro Happy, it's just like, what the fuck? Overall chapter, I'm going to give this one 3 out of 10. I felt like it was just at the end. The, the points that it does get is Afro Happy was kind of funny. 
and it felt like it was building up to something, but it built it up to absolutely nothing. And the art was pretty good in a couple pages, especially that one spread when Natsu went in with the Loxus combination technique or whatever. That looked hype as well. So art on point with this chapter, and it had a couple of jokes, but it was just like, it felt very bad the way it went down. Why build up these people? These demons, these Zerops books, oh mighty, oh my god, I can't believe it, mate. They're fucking powerful, oh my gosh. If all you're gonna do is have them get fucking annihilated, and it's like, yeah, the power of friendship, you know, you love your friends. Of course, you know, it's been a shonen trope for a long time that you, loving your friends and wanting to protect them will help you out because it'll drive you and motivate you, all that good shit. But when it's helping happy to take out a bomb that's gonna explode the city, what the fuck? Let me know what you guys think. Were you disappointed? Were you frustrated? Did you want to choke 10 goats and rape a horse because of that ending? Me, personally, I'm not even upset about it. I'm just like, it is what it is at this point. It's like, whatever. I, I've always said it from the get-go. I watch and read Fairy Tale because I just enjoy the good aspects of it. But as a reviewer looking at it critically, I felt the same way about Pell and Alabasta surviving that bomb that I feel with this happy thing surviving that bomb. And I don't care what any Peace fan wants to say, Pell, this, that, no. It's the same thing right here that happened there. And it's almost like if he's Hiro Masuma is taking shit that is like, what the fuck from One Piece and putting it there. It's like, why would you do the Pell thing when that's one of the things that fans critically look at it like, what the fuck did you do? And you're putting it here. And Afro, Afro Happy is like, whatever, Afro Luffy, Afro Happy. That shit is funny as hell. I find it hilarious, like this little cat with an Afro. But again, that's my thoughts on the chapter. Pretty bad. Let me know what you think again, overall thoughts. Hopefully... The rest of the members of Tartarus, especially Kyoka, I believe. That's one of the ones that I'm waiting for to see. Please, bring the damage. Bring what we want. Bring us somebody that's not going to be overpowered by friendship. But that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for Afro Happy because that's the only thing that is like, that was pretty fucking hilarious. I'm for World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.